Hello everyone, my name is Qcode and today I am going to be starting a programming tutorial series thingy with Love2D and Lua and it is going to be amazing, we're going to set up easy 2D games and I'm going to teach you both Love2D and Lua. Now important thing here is, is just a bit of semantics, this is not actually called Love2D the engine, the engine itself is called Love, people will yell at you if you call it Love2D, I don't know why, it's very silly. So. First what you need to do is, I've got, I've got my little list behind here of things I have to cover for this first episode, is download Love2D, and that's easy, it's got all the different things, you can download Installer, Zipped, uh, all different series, I'm using Mac, I've already downloaded it, it's in my applications folder, you can see it right there, there's all my files, I don't know why that was opened. Okay, second, what you want to download is our code editor, which is Sublime Text, so that will have a download there, you can download that install it, I've already got it installed, as you can see right here, it looks like this, it's very simple, you can type code into it. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a project for Love2D and Lua, and that's very simple, it's as easy as creating a folder, like that, you can create it on the desktop, create it wherever you want, and I'll just call it Lua Tests, because, Lua Test, because that is what we're going to be doing here while I teach you Lua and such. So, first thing we want to do in there is save a single text file. Save it as main.lua, I'll have to navigate through these. Main.lua is where the main folder, it's the first file that is run for Love2D. We save it there. This is the code that is going to be run on the start. And now, you have your first game! Yay! And to run this, very simply, you can just take this and drag it onto Love2D, wherever you have it installed. I'm using 0.9.1, it's the most recent version, should probably be using it. You can run it, I'm going to open that, and there you go, there's your first program, it's just a black screen. Very good. Now what we're going to do is set up what's called a build environment, and that is for, it sounds complicated, but that is for Sublime Text 2, and as you can see, this is in don't need you. This is in on this page here. All of these links will be in the description, just uh, pre warning. So, as it says here, running love projects from Sublime Text 2. If you run it like this from Sublime Text 2, one, it's a lot easier, and two, you can see really easy console updating. It'll update the console and you can print things, and it just makes things simpler generally. You can use the console on. Windows, uh, but that's a separate setting. Usually, it doesn't appear by default. This is just going to be plain old easier, pers is personally what I think. So, as it says here, it's got the instructions. You can follow them along. I'm just going to do the Mac one. Create a new build system. Tools build system. New build system. You copy in this thing that it has here. Copy paste. Mine is not called love at love .at. Mine is called love 0.9.1. 0.9.1. You can put spaces in there from what I've seen. Then I'll save it as love 0.9.1. Sublime build, and then I can close that. And now we can see build system. I can set it to love 0.9.1, and then using command or control B, depending on what system you are, it boots up. Yay! It's very simple. So this is completely optional. This is a package called Lua Love, and all that does is it gives you extra syntax highlighting for the Love API. As you can see, it's based on previous projects before it. Already in Sublime Text, they have syntax for Lua, but it doesn't have it for Love. So certain things will highlight, but all the Love functions, they won't, and they won't have automatic pop-up, which it will on mine. So I'll be writing a Love function, and it will automatically pop up and do autofill for me. It just makes things a little easier. Easier to remember keywords, easier to remember arguments, all those good things. They'll make more sense in later episodes. So, if you don't want to install this, I'll see you next episode. If you do want to install this, it's very simple, you can just follow the instructions. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's very simple, you can follow the instructions. Okay, so to install this, you need to use this thing called package control. And that is a thing that is used over here. Sublime Text 3, Sublime Text 2, it differs for each one. I'm using Sublime Text 3, it's a beta build, you can find it on the Sublime, Sublime Text website. Simply copy that in and paste. It says by the view show console. So I'm going to do that here. View. Where is it? 
show console, there it is. And then I just copy paste this in, enter. It's loading all the stuff in. I believe that is, no, it's not done. Package control, no updated packages. I think that'll be fine. So, now as you can see, simply use command palette, package control, install package little love. So if I do here, command palette, it's in tools, command palette, install package, it'll bring up all these, and I just type in little love, and it will automatically be installed for me. Theme loaded, package little love successfully installed, and then I can do syntax, little love, and if I type in as you can see, love.audio.pause, it automatically brings it up, that's kind of annoying, but yeah, and it highlights it. All those different stuff, all that's good. So next episode I'm going to be showing you some basics of Lua, including variable types and other such things, operations, all that good stuff is going to be very basic, and it'll be a good introduction. We're not going to be doing any game design just yet, but this will be the very building blocks of the programming language that you're going to use to create your game. I hope to see you all next time.